The Prophet said people were rude to him. The desert Arabs were rude to him. And he never returned their rudeness with rudeness. He smiled in their faces. He returned their bad manners with good character. And this is what he taught us to do with people. And, and we have to, it's mujahada, we have to struggle. The, 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 the sabr is in sadmat al-ula. Patience, when, when the, the woman who was in the graveyard, and, and, and she was we, mourning over, and the Messenger of Allah passed by her, and he, and he said that uh, this is a musibah, and you should be patient. And she said, you didn't have the tribulation that I had. That's how she answered him. And he just left her. Now look at the character there. He didn't say, don't you know who I am? I'm the Messenger of Allah. You can't talk to me like that. He didn't say that. He saw she was mus she, musab. She was in tribulation. He left her to be in her tribulation. He gave her nasiha and she didn't accept it, but he recognized her psychological state. She was in a state that it was not useful or beneficial to continue with her and so he left her. I, this is wisdom, this is hikmah. And then he went to his house and somebody came by and he, and, and he said, don't you know who that was? That was the messenger of Allah. Suddenly remorse entered her heart. Astaghfirullah. And she went to his house and knocked on the door. Ya Rasulullah, I didn't know it was you. And the Messenger of Allah said, patience is in the first calamity, when the first thing hits. That's when, in other words, it, when the calamity hits, patience that Allah wants is at that point. That's the point Allah does not want you to lose control. That's the point to take, it's not when it's all over you say, oh please forgive me, I didn't mean to punch you after you said that to me, you know, I'm sorry. No, it's to, to stop, I'm not gonna punch him. Because he's a Muslim, right? I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to engage. I'm not, and that is mujahada. That is learning to suppress the nafs for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because we're here for Allah. We're not here for, and this is ikhlas. To do it for Allah's sake. Really, to do this for Allah's sake. To forgive your brother for Allah's sake. To forgive your sister for Allah's sake. Not for them. To do it for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Really. There's people in here that haven't talked to their brother or their sister or some of them to their mothers and their fathers. Don't be that person. Don't cut off your bloodship bonds. Don't be that person. Do it for the sake of Allah. And a man came to the Messenger of Allah. He said, Ya Rasulullah, Asilu akhi wa yaqta'uni, u'atihi wa yamna'uni. I give him, he withholds. I come to him, he cuts me off. What should I do? He said, that is Sidat al-Rahm. That what you're doing is the right thing and continue to do it even though he's cutting you off. That's Islam. That's Islam. And it's hard. Don't think this is an easy religion.